Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. I am Tono Shri and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is moisture content in terms of wet bases and dry bases. So, what do we mean by moisture content of a food product? Moisture content of a food product is the amount of water present in the food product. The moisture content has a relation with the shelf life of the food products. Moisture content is inversely proportional to the shelf life of the food products. For example, the food products which contains relatively higher amount of moisture generally have lower shelf life. For example, fruits and vegetables. We are already aware of this fact that it is very difficult for us to store fresh fruits and vegetables without any preservation method. The food products which contains lower amount of moisture have a higher shelf life, for example cereals and pulses. Generally, higher amount of moisture content of the food products help the microorganisms to grow easily and spoil or degrade the food products. Hence, it reduces the shelf life of the food products. Here, I would like to add a point that the shelf life is not totally dependent on the moisture content of the food product. It also depends on various other factors such as temperature and etc. So, the moisture content of a food product can be calculated in terms of weight basis and dry basis. Weight basis Moisture content when calculated in terms of weight basis, it can be defined as the mass of water present in the food sample per unit mass of the food sample. So, the formula is like moisture content on weight basis is equals to mass of water in the food sample divided by mass of food sample. So, we can also write it in this form as MCWB is equals to MW by MP. So, MW represents mass of water whereas MP represents the mass of the sample that is the food product. Dry basis. Moisture content when calculated in terms of dry basis it can be defined as the mass of water in the food sample per unit mass of the dried food sample. So the formula is like moisture content on dry basis is equals to mass of water in the food sample divided by mass of the dried food sample. So we can write it as MCDB is equals to MW by MS where MW represents the mass of water in the food sample and MS represents the mass of the dried matter or the solid. Here I would like to add two points that is the moisture content on dry basis is more than the moisture content on weight basis for the same sample. This means when we are going to calculate the moisture content of a sample by weight basis and dry basis, then the moisture content that will be calculated by dry basis will be higher than the moisture content that is calculated by weight basis. Next point is moisture content on dry basis can be more than 100%. In any case, it can happen like the mass of water present in the food is more than the mass of the dried matter or the solid portion. We can take the example of milk where the mass of water is higher than the mass of the solid. So, in that case, the moisture content on dry basis will be more than 100%. 
Next is the relation between the moisture content on wet basis and dry basis. So, moisture content on wet basis is written as Mw by Mp, where Mp is equals to the mass of water plus the mass of solid or the dried matter. So, we can rewrite it as MCWB is equals to MW by MW plus MS. We know this that moisture content on dry basis is represented by mass of water by mass of solid that is MW by MS. Now, if we just reciprocate it on both the sides, then we will get it as 1 by MCDB is equals to MS by MW. Then, if we add 1 on both the sides, then we will get it like 1 plus MCDB by MCDB is equals to MS plus MW by MW. So, we can rewrite this same thing as 1 plus MCDB by MCDB is equals to MP by MW and then we will again reciprocate it and it will give us MCDB by 1 plus MCDB is equals to MW by MP. So, this MW by MP is the formula for MCWB. So, we will replace this MW by MP with MCWB and hence we have developed a relationship between the moisture content on dry basis and the moisture content on wet basis. I guess that was a very lengthy process. So, we can simply do it by another method and that is we can divide this numerator and the denominator by the mass of solid. So, after dividing the numerator and the denominator with the mass of solid, we will get the same result that we have got previously. So, this was quite simple I guess. But the previous method will be beneficial if a question comes in your exam where you have to develop the relationship between the moisture content on weight basis and the moisture content on dry basis and the marks or the points allotted is more than 1. So there you can do that one and gain the marks. So, the formula to convert from dry basis to weight basis or from weight basis to dry basis is when the dry basis is given to us, we can apply this formula that is MCWB is equals to MCDB by 1 plus MCDB or when the weight basis is given to us, we can apply this formula that is MCDB is equals to MCWB by 1 minus MCWB. I developed this equation from this equation only. That is, I cross multiplied this equation and hence the result was this equation. I want to give one suggestion that you don't need to remember both these formulas. Just go for one and you can find out any one among this like if the dv is given you can easily find out the weight basis and if the weight basis is given then you can find the dry basis note generally the moisture content is given in percentage and we also need to give the answer in percentage form so when the moisture content is given in percentage we need to convert it into fraction or decimal form by dividing the moisture content with 100 and when we are writing the answer we should change the moisture content 
to the percentage form by multiplying the moisture content or the result that we got with 100. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all liked this video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.